A few times in a person's life when they can answer the question, where were you when the launch of the Space Shuttle Challenger on a cold January morning was one such time. It was NASA's 25th shuttle mission, but different than any before. That's because the flight 30 years ago this week would carry beloved school teacher Krista McAuliffe into space. But as the children gathered in front of their classroom TVs to watch, I remember all of this, in fact, every sense of joy and anticipation just turned to shock and sadness. Tonight on Channel 4, WJXT's documentary unit tells the story of the Challenger 7. Seven astronauts, seven heroes who died during a launch that should have never happened. Many years ago, the great British explorer George Mallory, who was to die on Mount Everest, was asked why did he want to climb it. He said because it is there. Well, space is there. And we're going to climb it. Uh, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. We ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. That's one small step for man. One Giant leap for Engine throttling up, three engines now at 104%. Challenger, go and throttle up. Challenger, go and throttle up. Obviously a major malfunction. We have no doubt. We will never forget them, nor the last time we saw them this morning as they prepared for their journey and waved goodbye and slipped the surly bonds of earth to touch the face of God. We were able to determine exactly what happened. Uh, we know precisely how this accident occurred. I remember when the space shuttle program was announced and I thought that's kind of neat because I thought having a reusable vehicle would be the way to go. I realize now that that's probably a mistake. The shuttle was tremendously complicated. Countdown was, a little, was tense as, as it should be. And I was standing next to Steve McAuliffe explaining to him because he was the had the least amount of information about launch and, and what happens with a launch. Six, we have main engine start. Four, three, two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. We, we watched it, and and cheered. It was like we were all on top of the world after it launched. It was a beautiful, beautiful, cold winter morning. Um, the ground shook, the fire crackled, you know, it was tremendous. And, and we were just all shouting, the top of the world. You know, can you imagine? Um, greatest joy for that, our loved ones aboard the crew. Engines throttling up, three engines now at 104%. Challenger, go and throttle up. Challenger, go and throttle up. Tune in tonight at 8 for Challenger, a rush to launch. You can only see it right here on the local station. I have, in the course of my career, covered countless shuttle launches, and I saw that one. And people's hearts dropped. Yeah, and you did not. I remember Miss Glenn's economics class, Jacksonville Country Day School on the south side. And I was watching it, and, oh. and it happened, and we kind of looked at our teacher like, you didn't even understand. No, you, no, you people just... didn't know what happened. It, it was, yeah. anyhow, you, you've got to check out this special tonight. It's very revealing, it's very telling, and it's hard to believe it's been 30 years.